Today we play through Super Mario 3D World, but we use Beta Luigi 64, and we'll check out every power-up that he has. Oh man, even on the title screen we've got Retro Luigi 64 on the title screen. Look at that, that's so funny to see him on the title screen like this, when all the other characters look normal, but we've got our Retro Luigi like this just walking around. So here we are on the world map with our Retro Luigi 64. Oh man, this is looking fantastic. Alright, let's get into a level. Oh man, oh man, what a cool Luigi we have. Let's do some movement over here. Okay, we can do spins like this. We can do long jumps. Oh man, look at the way that his legs play out like that as he jumps. That's very funny to see. And let's see, can we ground pound? I guess we could probably ground pound too, right? Let's see a ground pound. Let's take out that Goomba. All right. And hold on, let's become little Luigi. Let's see what little Luigi looks like. Whoa, okay, we lost our hat. Oh wait, Luigi's invincible. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the textures on him. Look at our little Luigi here. His arms are like bubbles, and his gloves look just like the gloves from Super Mario 64, which is really cool. Okay, let's get a mushroom and let's see our Luigi grow up. Okay, we've got our hat back. Our green Mario collects a green star over here. Wow, 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 wow. Look at Luigi climbing the tree. Wow, Mario, wow, Mario, Mario, wow, I climbed the tree. Mario, I want to get to the big mushroom. Let's see what happens. All right, we are a giant retro Luigi 64 going to catch some rabbits. All right, oh man, that rabbit must be terrified having a little Luigi running after him like that. This Luigi could just come through and destroy everything. Look at our retro Luigi go. And you know what we also need to see? We need to see Luigi with the super bell power up. Wow, look at his little tail. I love how basic his ears are right here. It's so funny to see this suit like this around Luigi like this. Something looks a little bit off about Luigi's tail right now. I don't know about you guys. And let's see our Luigi 64 just finish off a level right over here. Let's just, oh, you know what? Let's actually climb up the goal pole. Let's see what it looks like. And Luigi, oh, he doesn't reach the top. Wow, look at the spots on him. It's very interesting that he has those spots on him. It's like Luigi's wearing pajamas. Let's see what happens if you pop into the shell. Oh, it looks just normal if you pop into the shell. It looks like this shell hasn't actually changed. I don't think it's changed. Does that shell normally stay green or does it turn red? I think it turns red for Mario, but I think for Luigi it just stays green like that. All right, let's get a fire flower. Let's see what our fire flower Luigi looks like. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, that is so cool. Look at the colors on him. Look at the colors on him. We have the fire flower colored Luigi. We have got our retro Luigi 64 who is now, oh, okay, we almost lost him, but we are safe. Fire flower retro Luigi is running through the level. Oh man, what a jump. Oh no, the Goomba got us. Now we are just back to regular Luigi 64. Let's just head on up here. Even though we have the super bell power up, we can just head up like this. You don't need to use it. You can actually just get up like this and then take the pipe to the next world. It's really cool that there's a shortcut like this. In world 1-2, there's a pipe. And once you leave the level, you're actually under the world map like this in a clear pipe. And this clear pipe, normally if you haven't completed all of world one, it lets you skip to world two like this. Let's climb up here and what we can do is if you hit this block enough times, it transforms into one of these power-ups. And now, Luigi has the coin box power-up, and while he moves, he keeps and keeps getting more and more coins. Look at all the coins that he is getting. He has collected so many coins from this power-up. And now it breaks. And Luigi completes yet another level. Cat Luigi just looks so funny to me. I like this one a lot. This one looks very funny. He looks very blobby, kind of like the Michelin tires guy. There we go, we are now little Luigi 64 and we can carry around some piranha plants. On the Mario 3D world wiki, carrying around a piranha plant like this is considered a power up. So, oh! And we turned big again. Okay, let's head through here. I had a cool video looking at out of bounds camera stuff in this game. And having a different look at this level was really interesting to see. It's really interesting to see how this level is set up the way that they did this. And seeing the shadow of our retro Luigi is pretty funny. You can see that this isn't a regular Luigi in the shadow like this. You can see that this is 
Retro Luigi 64 in the shadows over here. Oh, and you can see that sometimes like this, as you walk left and right, it looks like you're running into the door, but you're not going into it. And the way to fix that is you just go up and down a bit, and there you go, then you can run into the door. And now we have got Retro Luigi 64 going to take out the Bowser, and he destroys it! And he's ready to get a green star from Captain Toad, a green star for our green Luigi. Luigi loves going through doors. Having a course clear with this Luigi looks a lot more normal than with the Cat Luigi. The Cat Luigi is a really funny power-up. I really like how the default Retro Luigi 64 here looks. Ah, uh, right, double cherry pass. Now we are going to control not one Retro Luigi, but several Retro Luigi 64s. Let's get another double cherry over here. We have now got three. Haha, <laughs> 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 got it. Let's drop down here. Hopefully we don't lose any of them to these block steppers here. Really don't want to lose any of our Luigi's here. Oh, right, and we got them safely, and we got the green star. Let's all line up here and pop through this pipe. Get to the checkpoint flag, we are doing great here. Double cherry over there that we might want, but we gotta be careful because we don't want to lose our Luigi's. We do not want to lose our Luigi's. Let's be very careful with our dear Luigi's here. Run away, Luigi's, run away! Okay, we have got four Luigi's now. And there's one more over there. All right, there we go, we have five retro Luigi's. All right, let's move along. Oh! The fire bro better not take away any of our Luigi's. It better not. Uh-oh! No, don't throw fireballs at us! Oh no, there are so many to control. I'm so scared! Let's get him! Get him! Yeah! Good job, Luigi! Wait, one of our... We lost one of our Luigi's! No! The camera was too far away. I was so worried that that would happen. We've only got four Luigi's now. But all four of our Luigi's can come up here. And the funny thing is, to get this green star, you actually don't need this platform if you have this Super Bell power-up. Because if you have this Super Bell power-up, what you can actually do is you can actually just climb up here. And then you're actually able to get the green star just like that. You don't even need that platform there. And there we go. Goodbye, Retro Luigi's. You have served us well, Double Cherry Clones. <laughs> and we've got our spotted Cat Luigi again. All right, and up next is our next power-up for Retro Luigi. The can- Oh! And it even looks different right now before we even get it. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. This is incredibly made. Oh, man. It really does look like a Retro 64 Cannon power-up. If Luigi did have an official power-up like this in Super Mario 64, this is what I imagine that it would look like. And the power-up is working fine. We can shoot stuff. We can break boxes like this nearby. We can come down here. We can defeat enemies. We can destroy crates like that. Collect green stars. You can take out... Lots of enemies all at once. Oh, but you want to be careful to survive and not to lose it. Because at the end here, you want to destroy that with the cannon box power-up. And then, you can collect the green star. And now, Retro Luigi 64 will face off against the boss. Boom, boom. Will we be able to harm him with this? Or will we have to jump on him? Let's see. We got him. Oh, now we've got to be careful. We've got a shell coming towards us. Luigi has such a nice jump, though, the way that he floats. Uh-oh, that didn't work. It looks like he blocked. Okay, now he's invisible. A bit scary. We can see him a little bit. Let's just stay away from him. Stay away from him. Where is he? He must be getting dizzy by now. There we go. We got him. And we've just got to avoid the invisible shell now. We can bounce off the wall. That'll let us spend some more time in the air. Making it more difficult for us to get hit. Okay, and he's spinning, he's spinning. He's spinning, he's spinning towards us. Will he take away our cannon box, or will we be able to survive the fight with our cannon box? Let's hope that we can survive. And there we go, we got him, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Into the warp box we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Mario! Mario! It's Luigi time, Mario! 
Ah, right, and there we go. And when you complete the level like that with this power-up, it turns into a one-up when you complete the level, which is pretty cool. And we have got our retro Luigi 64 here, who rescued a Sprixie. Okay, in World 3-1, there are so many power-ups here, so we've got to get all the power-ups here, because there are a lot of power-ups here that we can get for our Retro Luigi 64. First of all, well, let's first get these. Okay, these are just coins, right? Okay, those are just coins. We can hold a snowball like this. And, first- Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Even the propeller box has been changed! Wow! Wow! That's very incredible! I love this! This is actually so well made! This is fantastic. Not only has the box been changed, but the propeller itself, you can see that the propeller has less detail now. Oh man, that's very nicely made, the way that that is made. Let's do some... Let's do some ice glitch here, ice boost glitch here, then we can float along very far into the level. You can make it to almost the end of the level like that, which is pretty cool. Get that green star, that's actually the third green star in the level. Got some Goombas skating along here. Can we defeat any of these Goombas? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Even these skates that the Goombas are in look different already. These already look like they are less poly. They look like they are more angular and jagged now instead of being as smooth as they normally are. Yeah, and right there, we can see that the skate right there is more angular than usual. Let's hop into it. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't know that you could use the propeller box together with the skate. Okay, you can't float. But this actually looks hilarious to see the propeller box and the skate together like this. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but it's so funny to see how they go together like this. It's like, we can't even see Luigi. Luigi's just completely covered up now, just like this. Oh man, this is great. I like this a lot. Okay, and are we going to get a Super Leaf power-up from this, or does this give you a 1-up? <gasps> a Super Leaf? Okay, 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 let's collect it. I don't think it'll look any different until we lose our power-up, so let's take it. Yeah, nothing even changed, nothing even changed because we have both of these power-ups active. Okay, so let's lose that. Oh, we can see a tail peeking out now and some different feet over here. Okay, so let's lose this propeller box power-up. And there we go! Look at what we have over here, look at our Luigi over here. We've got a very nice Luigi over here. Very nice floating Luigi over here. Alright, and look at this little Luigi. Look at his ears. I like how pointy his ears are. His very pointy ears are fantastic. And we can get a skate from that, so let's see what this Luigi looks like in the skate. Oh, man! Oh, man! I really like how this Luigi looks in the skate. I like how the propeller box look like together with the skate. But it's nice to actually be able to see Luigi inside his very angular skate also. So let's make our way through the level like this, collect that stamp, and let's pop out of here. Let's hop along. This is such a nice Luigi to have. And he can float along to the top of the goal pole. Let's have a look at how our Luigi does here. Okay, even the light boxes have been changed. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's really cool the way that this looks. Oh man, we are the real Retro Luigi 64. There's shining light on these. Oh man, these guys do not like having light on them. This reminds me very, very slightly of Luigi's Mansion because it's like... Ah! Okay, we, we are fine, we are fine. Okay, so that's how you get the stamp, that's nice. Can we jump across? Oh, I didn't realize how far that goes. Oh! We are safe! We are safe, we made it. What could be back here? Another green star! This level reminds me of Luigi's Mansion a bit because it's a level with a lot of ghosts and the level does try to incentivize you to play as Luigi because there is that button at the beginning that you have to be Luigi to press. So that's pretty cool. I saw someone leave a comment on a picture of Mario using a power-up like this and the comment was Mario looking kinda sus because when you have a power-up like this, it kind of looks like you are an Among Us character. It is so cool to see a little retro Luigi like this running through these levels. I mean, it really makes the rest of the world seem even more high detail when you see a character like this running through the levels. And the lighting on him is really cool. Look at the way that the moonlight shines on our retro Luigi 64 here. And you might be thinking, hey, there is a power-up that we still haven't gotten, and that is the boomerang power-up for our Retro Luigi, so we have got a nice boomerang power-up now. Get to throw a nice boomerang. How does our boomerang look? I can't tell if our boomerang is lower poly or not, or if that's how it normally looks. I think maybe it's been reduced a little bit? I can't tell if the boomerang has been changed. 
because a boomerang isn't a very complex object to begin with. Oh, 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 and there's one more power up that we didn't get over there. The Goomba mask. All right, you know what? Let's go become a regular Luigi and then take that power up. Now then, let's get this power up. All right, would you look at that? This looks just like a Goomba on a Super Mario 64. It's so funny to see that walking around with Luigi's flailing legs. And that one just has Goombas, right? Oh, and the little Goombas, they don't even notice us. Because we also look like a Goomba. We look just like a Goomba. And I love that when you jump, it makes the Goomba sound. When you walk normally, you have a normal walking sound, but when you crouch... It sounds like a Goomba walking when you crouch, which is a really cool detail. You'd think that if Luigi was looking like this, that he'd be riding on Dory from Super Mario 64. But our Luigi is in fact riding on a Plessy. Luigi's carrying a shell. And let's make our way over to the top of the floor. Where did the shell go? Oh, I think the shell just exploded above us like fireworks. I remember being a kid playing Super Mario 64 and really wondering about if you could get Luigi in any way. I think that's something that a lot of people wondered about as they played the game. All right, and let's see what happens if you beat the game as Retro Luigi 64. Here he is in the cutscene for the Great Tower of Bowser Land. Looking up at the Great Tower of Bowser Land, we are going to head up there and save all of the Sprixies and see what that cutscene is like with this Luigi. Here goes Luigi down into the level. Let's drop down. Taking this across. Oh, okay. And Retro Luigi is getting a nice view ahead at the Great Tower of Bowser Land here. It is starting to rain. Maybe that means that it is going to be the Fury Bowser phase soon. But that would mean that we are playing the wrong game. Run, Cat Luigi! Run! The Meowsers are coming! The Meowsers are coming! Oh, man, and I remember there were a bunch of enemies here when we did this in all bosses hard mode. Okay, let's take some damage so that we are regular Luigi, because I think that regular Luigi looks nicer than Cat Luigi in this mod. Let's hit this power block! One more hit! And there we go! The Meowsers have been defeated! Retro Luigi is getting ready to rescue all of the Sprixies! And you know what? When we did all bosses upside down, I'm pretty sure the fireworks that came out here actually ended up being upside down after we defeated this boss. So that was something really funny in the video where we made all bosses upside down. There's all our Sprixies. Wow, we saved all of the Sprixies. And now let's just complete the level with our Retro Luigi 64. And here we go. All the Sprixies are so happy. It's funny how much more realistic the Sprixies look than the Luigi. This is fantastic. And in the credit scene, it's so funny that all the characters are normal except for Luigi. We've got Retro Luigi. Like, he's the only one that has spots on his cat costume. It's funny that they all have basically all the same color cat costume, but Luigi's just has some spots on it. It's like he's a leopard. A green leopard. That could honestly be a good nickname for Cat Luigi, the green leopard. A big thank you to In the Shed 34 for making this mod. These power-ups looked great, and it's super fun to see what a retro Luigi 64 would look like in Super Mario 3D World. I hope you all have an amazing day ahead of you. I really appreciate you watching this video, and take care, everybody.